And it works like this. You can scrap items in the world for materials and then use those materials to build the way you want. And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works in real time. Rip it apart and build the way you want. Like the rest of the game, this is about making it your own experience. We want you to build and decorate and, and make yourself really um, a place you want to live in. A new home uh, for yourself and your best friend, of course. As your settlement grows, people will arrive, including certain traders. They have some of the best items in the game. Uh, for these people, you will need to, you can plant food, water, and even uh, power generators. All right, so the generators will power things through switches that require power, lights and other items. And then you run wires that connect them all, and it, again, it, it just works. You can also build your own terminals that hook to this power grid, and then you can control the various things and tweak them that the power lines are connected to. This includes things like turrets, Because you do want to build defenses uh, because your settlements can and will get attacked uh, by raiders. So it's fun to build up something yourself in the game that usually you'll find that, that we have built for you. Um, and there are many large sites in the game world where we allow you to build. And you can even run Brahmin caravans between your settlements. Uh, keep in mind, like most things we do, uh, this is an optional part of the game that you can do if you want to. It's just one part of a huge game, but it's really, really great for Fallout. We just absolutely love this feature. And this crafting system carries over to other things in the world. So let's say you want to build this scope. And the game will tell you you need these components. And those components are found in all of the items in the world. So you could decide to build this scope out of these, you know, say the microscope, a toy car, or these, you know, duct tape, an alarm clock and such. So we like to fill our worlds with thousands of items that you can interact with and now, all of them have purpose. And here's what it looks like in the game. We do have over 50 base weapons and over 700 modifications for those weapons. So, you could take a basic, you know, a laser pistol from Fallout, just one of the base weapons, and then modify that and turn it into something completely new. Your own power armor. 